Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all, I forgot my intro. <laughs> my name is Merck. Uh, welcome back to the Narc Alert. Happy Saturday, everybody. It's the weekend. Oh, it's not just the weekend. You know what it is? It's Pride Weekend. It's Pride Weekend. My city is percolating. Holy cow, there's Deanna. Hey, Deanna, hi, hey, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Can't stick around, but hurt you all. P.S. Michael likes men. <laughs> he certainly does. And dots. Don't forget the dots. Thornback says, happy pride. Give a gay some money. Why not? Why not? Just if you see a gay person on the street, just throw some, like, make it rain. It's pride weekend. It's kind of, I think it might be the law. You just got to make it rain. Uh, I am actually really excited. I didn't go to the dike. Today was the dike march. Somebody can come at me if you want. It's called the dike march. <laughs> Deanna, thank you for making sure we got that in. Thank you for the super chat. Deanna says, and dots. We can't forget the dots. Um, so I did not go to that today. I didn't go to that. Sorry, but I will be streaming from the Pride Parade tomorrow. I'll keep you posted in the community tab and in the Discord, of course. I, I'm guessing it might be around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I will keep you posted. Um, the parade is supposed to... There's the man. I was going to put your camera on, and then you came over here. Of course, Rio is here. I know. You were sitting there and I didn't put your camera on. I'm sorry. You had to come right over here and get the attention. Hannah says, I didn't go because I'm homophobic, right? It's exactly it. I didn't, I didn't want to be around all the lesbanians today on, on lesbanian day. Gosh, I just can't stand the homos. So instead I went out for brunch with Tim <laughs> and, uh, uh, what did we do? Nothing much. Cause he has to go to his niece's wedding. So we just had a quick brunch and then I came home and, and then we streamed Amber cause she uploaded. And then we also watched the new Tom Harlock. And then we watched some old Tom Harlock. He says, I don't give a crap about Tom Harlock. What I want is some snacks. Did you want something? <laughs> okay. I think somebody's spoken. I think somebody has spoken. Well, you sat down. Did you want the treats or not? 
Do you want one of these? Uh, Joan's cat, whose name is Bailey, sent me home with a cat it for Mr. Man, and I'm supposed to tell him that this is from Bailey. Did you want some cat it? Come on up. Come on. This stuff is stinky, stinky. Come on. I don't want it. Ew. Ew, it's dripping. Eat it. Oh, look, even he doesn't want it. He's like, oh. Eat it. You don't want that, do you? I don't blame you. It smells revolting. Why would anybody eat that? Thanks, Bailey. He doesn't like that one. It's a cat. It. It's not a churro. Here, have to see. Now these. He likes these Dollaramas. The frisky Dollarama party mix treats. Because he's a party boy. Come on, party boy. Come and Don't go get that one. Come up and get these ones. Hey. God, he's so stubborn. This is my highly food-motivated cat. Can you please eat the treats? People don't believe me when I tell them my cat is not that into treats. Can you please? It's not, It's Saturday. It's your show. You signed a contract. You're not going to get paid out. You're going to lose. I'm going to... I'm going to dock your pay packet this week. I'm not going to sit here like a fool. You snooze, you lose. That's it. Sorry. No no treats right now for Rio. We're going to get back to... We're just going to... You just carry on then. We're just going to carry on. Pfft. Ridiculous. Uh, Javi was first. Javi was first. So I want to say hi to everybody and all the mods, of course. I see everybody's here. Jamie, nobody told him he was off this Saturday. Maybe he thinks because he had to work on... He did a he did the live stream with Snowflake this week. So he did do an extra live stream this week. And maybe he just assumes he was getting Saturday off. But we never talked about it. So I don't know why he thinks that. You're going to get docked. He's on the floor looking for the one treat that fell. Ass. Um, Javi was first. Jamie, thank you for gifting members. I saw that before the live stream. Jamie gifted five, I believe. Let me check this very handy fan funding tab that says, yes, Jamie gifted five NARC Alert members. Thank you, Jamie, for that. Uh, Pride stream, I talked about that. I'm going to do the Pride stream. I don't know what time. And I think I'm going to... Uh, oh, yeah, you guys can give me some ideas. Uh, not every charity is hooked up with YouTube, but, you know, most of them are. Um, and I want to do uh, the Pride stream tomorrow. Let's do a charity Pride stream. Um, so drop me some LGBTQ plus organization, organizations or causes that you would like to support, and I will go through and take somebody's suggestion. Because, I, you know, there's a million, but I think it'd be nice if uh, the community was in on it. So if you guys can drop in the, in the live chat or in the comments or in the Discord and say, Hey, Merck, this is a great LGBTQ plus uh, charity, I will take a look at that. And tomorrow's Pride stream will be a charity stream. So there's that. Um, Tomato Jam says, show your shirt. What's on my shirt? Well, you know, somebody dropped a Instagram reel in the Amberverse. And it was like, you know, there was a Canadian flag involved. <laughs> if you know, you know. So I thought I, I thought I maybe I should wear this today. Hang on. Outfit of the day in my tippy tiny apartment. Outfit of the day. You want to come for the Canadian flag? Canadian flag, baby. If you know, you know. Canadian flag shirt. Um, Let me move the man back. 
very cozy, and uh, coincidentally, next weekend is Canada Day. So now I have a new Canada Day shirt, right? Yeah. So there's that. Um, a few people have been asking me about Mr. Snowflake's retirement. And I think we may have gotten a, we may have jumped on the gun. And I don't think we should jump on the gun. Um, I believe Mr. Snowflake's plan, although I could be wrong. He wants to, um, you know, shape by the algorithm is um, sequential. He's doing Amber and he's just, now he's looking at the live stream era. So I suppose the next video from Shake by the Elm will be all of the, the Fleen era. And then he's going to be up to date. So then what he wants to do is take a couple of months off and come back and start doing other content other than Amber. But he will revisit Amber and update it as it goes. So I don't think he's quitting. He just doesn't want to do Amber forever. And none of us do. I certainly don't. But that's the only thing that's paying me. So I will keep doing Amber you can quote me, Amber, if you don't like it, I will keep paying, doing it until other people pay me more. But still, when I do any other videos, it doesn't get me 50% of the views I get for the Amber stuff. So <coughs> he's not going to disappear. You really think we're going to let him get away that easy? No way. No way. We've sent Paige all the way to uh, Europe to make to keep track of Crusader to make sure she gets him back. So Snowflake's not getting around. Everybody started branching out. I've always tried to do other content, and I love doing other content, but I can't do other content because I can't pay my rent on 2,000 views a video. So what am I going to do? And it's not you guys. The community supports us. It's YouTube pigeonholed me now completely as only an Amberlynn Reed channel. So if I do some other topic on somebody that's topical, it doesn't get fed out to the right eyes because... You know, the big monster algorithm doesn't see us that way. So it's very tricky. I don't know what to do. None of us know what to do. I think Jordy's getting more views on Eugenia now. Yeah, he is. Um, I can't cover her. I find I find her upsetting to cover. I, I will cover Eugenia's cooking videos because it's a little different. It's a little more in in my wheelhouse. Um, and honestly, if I just, as nasty as Amber thinks I am, I'm really not. And if I got nastier, I'd get more views. If I made more inflammatory thumbnails and cut things rougher, I would definitely do better. But that's not, I can't, I gotta be true to who I am too. And, uh, you know, Eugenia does okay. Some of my Eugenia, my one, the first Eugenia cooking video did performed quite well. Um, the second one, not so much, but honestly, it's not, I find her uncomfortable. I find her uncomfortable. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know, if we have to take a bit of a hit while well, the algorithm readjusts, then that's what we do, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, a lot of you guys agree with me. Neptune says, Eugenia is genuinely triggering, triggering. Astronaut Cat says, it's not fun to be snarky against people who aren't bad people. I guess it could be argued, but I, I know what you mean. Rio, can you stop, please? What are you doing? Rio. Come now. He's standing at the door yelling and yelling. Just yelling and yelling. You're nuts. Can you stop doing that now? Okay, now the other thing I have on my notes here is, of course, today I said I was going to announce the winner of the poetry contest. So we had a poetry contest where I asked you guys to submit any poem written in the style of Amber Lynn Reed as if it came from her pen. And uh, you did respond beautifully. I think we had 25 or 26 entries in a week. That's pretty good. Um, I will say off the top, they are absolutely all excellent. 
Oh, the beret is handy. Do you think the beret is... Listen. I'm an Amberlynn Reed reaction channel now, right? I've got cat ears at the ready. And of course, the beret. Oh my God, Rio is losing his shit. Look at him. Look at him, he's losing his mind. Can you hear him? Why are you beezing right now? Shh, quiet, sit down and be cute and be on the camera. Battery, I'm wasting the phone battery. That camera's running and there's no cat in front of it. He's gone nuts. <laughs> you know what he does at night when I, because that's my bedroom on the other side of that window. I know it looks odd because there's buildings, but the buildings are a reflection of the window in front of me. Physics. Rio, stop. Shush. <laughs> Rio's number one fan is going to be very busy time stamping tonight. Holy mackerel. And you didn't even eat the treats. Nope. Doesn't care about the treats. Okay, what am I trying to say? It was very hard to pick a winner because they were all excellent. I mean, they were all excellent. And what I had the mods do was they'd go into the poetry thread and they would just copy and paste the poem without the author's name. So I have no idea who wrote anything. I didn't want to feel biased in any way. Um, this beret is covered in cat hair. I'm telling you, this looks like if Amberlynn Reed wore a beret, this is what it would look like. Um, I should have rolled it. Ugh. I guess it's fitting, really. So... I kind of have two favorites. I don't know. Valentine, you're going to have to help me with this. I don't want you mocking me later because I didn't wear it right. Can you tell me how to wear it properly? Yeah, the mods were amazing. They were all over it all week. I would go check, check, check. Are we ready? Only one shirt. Yeah, but, you know, there's ways around that. Is this Val? I need Val to tell me. Is this okay? should be more on this side. I need my French. See, I, that's why everybody needs a French moderator when you're wearing a beret. Maybe it should be more on this side because this is better for the camera, like so. Okay, perfecto. Okay. Okay, we're ready. So I I have two favorites. Now, I don't know what to do because I think they were all really good. So maybe I'll make a video reading all of the entries and put it up for members and put it in the Discord. <laughs> Subi says I've never committed to anything this long. So... I'm not, I don't know how to do duck lips. I don't know how to do the duck lips. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I was never a ducky lipper girl. It's trying to make this thin, right? But mine's already thin. <laughs> I don't have to do that. <coughs> okay. So I've narrowed it down to two. And I'm going to read them both. And then I'm going to run a poll. We're going to have a poll mint. And I want you guys to vote on which one of the two you think is better. And the winner. Excellent idea, Tomato Jam. Just Jamie. Holy cow. A member for 22 months. Aw, Jamie. That's amazing. I didn't even. I've had members for that long. God, time flies. Thank you, Jamie, for being here and being so amazing and loyal and wonderful and all the good words. So, okay, so I'm going to read the two that I think are the best. I want you guys to vote on which one wins. The winner 
I'm going to get to all your super chats after I say all this stuff so I can get through this. The winner is going to, I will ship you the No One Cares extra large hoodie that I have here. And second place, I will send you some stickers from Redbubble. Does that sound fair? And everybody else, I think I'll make a video reading all the poems because I just kind of have fun doing that. And, you know, being a narcissist, I enjoy that sort of thing. So I want to say now thank you to Lulu Cattywampus, who's been a member for three months and says, three months, what a great community. Lulu, thank you for being here. And Jessica's a member for a month. Jessica, she's, Jessica's in our hangouts all the time watching stuff. We've got some really good new members that are, that are like, just like slid right in perfectly. We love that. But I think our community makes that pretty easy. Like I really try and instill and it doesn't take, I don't have to instill it because everybody does it naturally. If you ever see a bunch of us hanging out in voice chat, please come in and join us. We're just watching something and chatting. It's not a club. It's nobody special. It's just the rest of us sitting there. Come and join us. And if you come in, everybody's going to say hi to you right away because we're friendly. We like to welcome new people. And you don't have to chat. You can just sit there and hang out with us if you want. Or you can chat. We don't care. We just want you to have fun and join us. I know sometimes people pop in and I think they get nervous and go out. It's just, please don't be like that. Just come and hang out with us. It's fine. Right? And some of our newbies can probably confirm that. I think Ash is fairly new. Jessica's fairly new. And they hang out, boom, right away. Just came and started hanging with us, talking like thirsty housewives. And <laughs> um, I have no more notes here. Lainey gifted 10 members. Lainey, thank you so very much. Holy cow, 10 new alerts to come and check out the what I just said, that thing I just said. So speaking of Discord, let me go over there now. Let me open the Discordant Discord. It's not Discordant. I'm going to read. Somebody just pinged me. Why? Oh, um, Karina, thank you. Karina just pinged me and said that. Is she live, though? I can't stream Sniper if she's live. Apparently Destiny's live. Don't go watch her yet. <laughs> you know I'm way more fun. Come say hi and ask me stuff. Honestly, I think it will be... The we'll watch it later, for sure. Eventually. Whatever. Poems. Oh, I don't have the right glasses on, but I can't see with the right glasses. Hey, smoking cigarettes is actually legal, right? On YouTube, you're allowed to smoke, right? I'm not screen sniping. I'll lose my channel. You guys are monsters. So hang on. Oh, hang on. We got to we gotta set the scene a little bit, right? For the poetry? Hang on. Okay, blind as a bat, and I can't see anything. Oh, I'm going, I can't hear anything. Of course I can't, because I don't have my headphones. All right. Welcome to the Narc Alerts Jazz Coffee Shop. Okay, now I'm going to do something I never do on YouTube because, you know, we'd be beatniks tonight now. Oh, you want to hear the poems? I'll have to put on my eyes. Oh, 
Okay, I'll turn that down a bit to give these poems the... Where is it? Anonymous Poetry Entries. My two top favorites. I don't know who these are. I'm going to look them up later. I'm going to read them. You're going to vote on them. We're going to call them Poem 1 and Poem 2. I don't have the nails, but I have the motion. Okay, are we ready? This music might be a little too happy. I'm going to have to turn this off. Hang on. All right. Poem 1. The wrong shoes. My exes all lie about me. They say I'm stank and they have to wipe me. K cups go flying upside my head. Raindrops and petals. Oh no, not again. And I hang out on an old bed. I bring old sheets with me on vacay, but while I'm there, I eat my time away. Dark time is night and full of terrors. With putty I fidget till I feel better. So I sit with discomfort and triggered cues because I wore the wrong shoes. Poem number one. Poem number one. Ready for poem number two? <laughs> I love the chat is full of snaps. Okay, my number two. Poem number two. Poem number two is entitled Barbie Goral. Crumbs fall on my blouse like tears down my cheeks. Barbie stretches across my breasts. I'll do it next week. Next week, oh, I'm so weak. Where's the fullness that I seek? At the bottom of the bag or the bowl? I wonder if I'll ever be whole. Faceless critics comment on the R. You know, the R. In the bar, not the rain, not the petals. And the petals eavesdropping. All of those wrong words are haunting. Barbie! Vinyl printing doesn't change. It distracts from the sinister and the strange. When asked questions I couldn't satisfy, I bought a new shirt. And I lied to distractify. God, I just hang on. Sorry, it's like, it's not like art, you guys. It's like art. So those are two of my favorites. I hope you've enjoyed them. And now, I need your vote. Hope you can remember them. They're both so touching. I mean, they literally could have fallen from Amberlynn Reed's pen, don't you think? All right, there's your pollment. So I can do this. I can go back to the comments over here. And now I can catch up. <laughs> can I take this off? Kind of itchy. Okay, and we're back. We're back from the coffee shop. And we have a pollment. 
Look at that. It's a 50-50 tie. I'm going to let that Pullman run the whole stream. Hang on. You know what I'm going to do just for one second? Look what I'm going to do for one second. I'm going to have one more of these. But now the coffee... We, we've left the coffee shop. We don't smoke on stream. We don't even really smoke. Okay. I'm going to let that run for the whole stream, and at the end of the stream, we'll see who won. And then I will contact you in the Discord and let you know, and we'll make all the arrangements. And I will ship out your sweatshirt on Monday. And I will send you a tracking number in Discord. Megan M. just gifted five memberships. Thank you, Megan. That's very generous of you. Five more wi wildly alert alerts. Where's the poll? It should be at the top of the chat. Wow, it's neck and neck, you guys. It's neck and neck. Distractify was kind of genius, wasn't it? So, you know what's next on the agenda? They were both excellent. I know, I couldn't choose. That's why I'm making you do it. <laughs> Look, it's 50-50. After over 100 votes. Holy macaroni. Oh, Ananas is here, everybody. We can start now. Ananas says, I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm late. But the party can start now. Okay. Thank you, Ananas. They were, Valentine says they were his favorites too. I like the guy. Other, I'm telling you, some of the other poems are brilliant and funny, and I'm going to read them all in a video. Um, and I'll post it for members and on the Discord. Uh, but those ones to me sounded like they came from Amber's pen. I know. Look at 50-50. You guys are killing me. I don't know who the poems were written by. I haven't even looked yet. But 12's the limit. If, if any of you guys missed it and you're in the Discord and you want to go check, uh, one was called Barbie and one was called The Wrong Shoes. And that poetry thread is still there. So you can go reread them before you make your final decision. We will give the name at the end. If there's a winner, we'll figure it out at the end. How about that? We'll figure it out at the end. So, he's, of course, sitting not framed properly, so we'll frame him up, and then, I know you're very excited and you can't wait, and what we're going to do next is we're going to watch Amberlynn Reed's new video from today. Three days in a row, you guys. No schedule. She's just uploading every darn day now. It's a little high. Let me just lower it a little bit. Okay, now he's framed properly. Now he's framed properly. Don't give me that look. I had to fix the camera. You weren't sitting in the right place. Michael says, I hope she gets demonetized. So what the hell is she going to get demonetized for? I'm going to get demonetized tomorrow because I'm sure there's going to be music playing at Pride. You know, the gays. They like their music. 
I've got cat treats here. I've got a smelly cat thing open. Just wouldn't eat a damn thing today. All right. Oh, no, Amber, you don't know. No, 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 no. No, that's not right. That's pretty good. But is it this one is better? Close enough. Danny Moore, thank you for the super sticker. And Jan on the Lamb, thank you for the super chat. Jan says, did you notice she didn't mention her therapy appointment this week? Oh, good one. I didn't notice. Can't see. Well, I am. I am a homophobe. I'm just owning it. That's all. You know the gays. <laughs> My gay best friend leaves town for Pride weekend, and I go to Pride. <laughs> Just, let's just say that. Caroline gave for the Cheddar Fund. Thank you for the t super chat, Caroline. I actually have some beautiful English. I am right now hooked on old English cheddar. Okay, UK represent. I'm eating some beautiful Isle of Man uh, old English cheddar right now. And it's so damn good. So damn good. Um, all right, let's make her bigger. Ah, uh, look at her pretty little face. Michael Williams, you should go live there. Michael, let's start a GoFund, GoFundMe to help Michael Williams move to the Isle of Man. Sounds fitting. Sounds fitting to me. 12 My Limit says, I live near Cheddar Village where the cheese originated from. Do you really? I love that cheese so much. I'm so hooked on that cheese. And you know what? It's not that expensive. I don't understand. Here in Canada, there's a grocery store deli, like nice, nicer brand of cheddar called Balderson. And they make a old cheddar and they make a one, two, and four-year-old. And the four-year-old, like a brick of it is about fourteen ninety nine Canadian, and that Isle of Man is seven ninety nine. It's just a little bit smaller brick, but not much. It's like a ten times better cheese. I don't understand. Twelve says I might send you some. Oh my god, it would be so good. Hey, you know what? I was looking at post office boxes um, yesterday. I was in UPS, and. Uh, I might, I might try one out for three months. I might have to wait till next payday. Um, but they're really nice at UPS. And if you sent, cause I said to them like Canada post makes you buy a certain size box. And then when I went to them, they said they only accept documents. It's like, what the hell is a post office box? If you only accept documents, but UPS has a, a small little box you can buy. And I said to her, yeah, but what if something comes that's bigger than a letter? Like, what happens? And she said, oh, we just hold it and email you. You come pick it up. I was like, oh, well, all right. Sounds, sounds pretty reasonable. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, Because I know there's stuff like a fan art and stuff that I know some of you guys want to send. And maybe letters. I don't know. You can always DM me, but... I don't, I, you know, I don't want to be Amber. I'm not looking for crap. Save your money. But I know you're a really creative bunch of people. Anyway, shall we watch the Dainty Leader uploaded? To a new vlog. So today is day three of a new lifestyle and day three of no takeout. So lifestyle. I'm, an, I was going to say like, hopefully I'm successful today, but I already know I'm going to be because I just... Jamie, my goodness, thank you again for another super chat, you guys. Imagine the person who gets Amber's P.O. box next. <laughs> They'd have to disinfect it, I guess. Clean the crumbs out, vacuum it out. I don't care. I don't care about the good feeling I get from certain foods. I am a addict to food, and I am going to stay away from the food. Yeah, I would I'm take food, to, no problem. And continue nourishing my body with 
foods that make me feel good. So far, I'm feeling so good. Like, fat. Look at her freaking hair, you guys. Look at her hair. I'm making her big. Hang on. Look at her hair. Look at this. Look at, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. It looks like she cleaned out a damn deep fat fryer with her head. I'm sorry. It does. Fasting for 16 hours feels amazing. Uncle Grandpa, if you don't show up in that Discord soon, I'm going to have riots happen. Can you please connect your YouTube and come into the damn Discord? Because during that time, I don't even have to think about food at all. I know that I can have my water and I just feel good. I haven't felt like super great. physical hungry. I have felt like mental hungry, which is like a normal feeling. It's normal. Um, right now, let's see. Let me go to my fasting app. I can eat in about 30 minutes, as you can see here. So I've fasted for 15 minutes and 33 seconds. Okay, it says elapsed time 97%. And I'm sure she just made a Freudian slip there when she just said, hear me out. She just said, I've been fasting for 15 minutes. <laughs> Not 15 hours, 15 minutes, right? Listen. Let me go to my fasting app. I can eat in about 30 minutes, as you can see here. So I've fasted for 15 minutes and 33 seconds, or 33 minutes and 33 seconds. There we go. Look at all those threes. And it just feels really good. Um, I am weighing myself daily because I <laughs> was see, she's, like, she misspoke. <laughs> I'm just picking on her. She meant she meant 15 hours. I mean, whether that's true or not is another story, but she meant to say 15 hours. My body is, and I will say, like, I think I'm just going to do, like, I'm going to share my weigh-ins with you guys, like, weekly, because I know a lot of people don't like the fluctuations of weight, and right now I'm not liking it very much either, because I have been measuring every single thing that goes in my mouth. Uh, yesterday, I had 1,800 calories, so I'm eating very, very low calorie. Like, Yeah, Karina, I agree. That's the thing I was going to say. Is it fasting when you're asleep the whole time? Yeah, if she's fasting 15 hours, I, I'm betting she's sleeping 12. I mean, come on. When you're depressed and all you do is sit at home all the time, you sleep more, right? I do. You're bored. There's nothing to do. You might as well sleep. I agree. I think she's sleeping most of this fast. So you don't eat the last hour before you sleep, and you don't eat for an hour or two after you get up big fast like the day before that i had 1600 and i am drinking water i'm peeing more i'm moving more i'm exercising more and i'm doing she's exercising more more than what like snowflake said on our live what about that cheat she had where she had all the crunches wasn't she doing us three sets of 15 crunches i can't do that God, I wish I was good at exercising as she is. She's exercising more. Guys, come on. Doing more. I'm doing better. I'm eating, like, extremely healthy, in my opinion. Then why do you look like to, a like, corpse? How I used to eat. Listen, I'm about as white as they get. I, like, Snowflake does this too. I'm pale. I'm white. Look at, look at how fish belly, this is called, we call this fish belly white. I am white. And I still look healthier than she does i know lighting is a thing too so we can't really it's not a fair comparison but i'm sorry the girl looks like a corpse and i haven't lost any weight i have actually gained <laughs> i have gained actually like i don't even want to say it out loud i've gained 0.6 of a pound i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh my god that's you know no big deal but it is confusing to me especially because like water weight comes off of me <laughs> really easily usually because i hold on to so much so it's like the fact that I'm not even losing water weight is frustrating, but I'm not going to let that. Thornback, that's the, that's the lovely way to put it. Alabaster's nice. I prefer fish belly white. <laughs> Frustration, like stop me or derail me or anything like that. Because like minus that, I just feel better. I feel lighter. My brain feels clearer. I feel in a better mood. Um, my lymphedema feels a little bit loose. This is a better mood? This is Amber Lynn feeling better, looking better, exercising more, getting out there, living her best life, feeling better? Look at her. 
I'm not kidding when she says she looks like a corpse. This is not a woman who looks like she's feeling better and she's in a great mood. Her energy seems really depressed to me. Sir, I mean, towards the end of the night, it does get super hard, which is... I can't get over that hair. Because oh my God. I'm up more, moving more, exercising, etc. Which, make, makes I don't itchy. know if that could be playing a role in my weight, but I can't let daily fluctuations mess with me. I have to really focus in more on, like, the weekly aspect. So I think that's why I'm going to, like, just come... You know, when I was at my heaviest, which is probably even before I started YouTube, I was probably a good... 10 pounds heavier than when I started YouTube. There was a point where, you know, you have your position that you lay in bed, your favorite position, and I like to put one leg up really high. And there was a point where I couldn't do that anymore. When I went to bed at night, it felt really uncomfortable because of the way I'm looking at this fold. I'm looking at this fold area here. And, uh, like, skin was folding in a way that it never did before because there was extra flesh there and I couldn't lay in the same way that I used to. And for me, that was a big wake up call. It was like, wow, you can't even sleep in the same way you used to sleep. You're going to get shit together. And that's when I kind of a little, not the whole light bulb, but a flicker started. And I look at this and I think, isn't that uncomfortable? Like imagine having that much flesh I don't know. I can't do it, but I don't know. She's got to be uncomfortable all the time. How much y'all with um, the weekly weigh-ins instead of like doing it daily, because I know a lot of people don't believe in daily weigh-ins. So we're just not even going to include those. All right, you guys. So I am about to break my fast. Why is she weighing herself daily? She's told us and she knows. Oh, real. <laughs> so cute. She's told us like a hundred thousand times that daily weigh-ins are toxic for her and they're triggering and she can't do them. Why is she doing them again? We are in cycle one, you guys. It's been 16 hours and 36 minutes. Ooh, I'm collecting that badge. I said it was the fifth time I've done this, but that's only because I had this app like a year ago. Look how burnt this meat is. It's all burnt. This is not well cooked this isn't just really well done first of all can we talk about the fact that these are pre-cooked chicken sausages pre-cooked you don't have to cook the living life out of them they're cooked already oh or more um it's not actually the fifth time so this is filled with freaking veggies sausages, right? insane how delicious this is let's start with what i haven't tried i haven't done the mustard and cottage cheese inside of celery, but I'm about to try it now. So good. And another one I haven't done for you guys is the radish. So we're gonna raw, by the way, which just feels so good on my body. On and body. we have some asparagus. I hate our that slaps chicken sausage. And well, for longer, put it in the oh, fridge. I need to see this. A lot. I need to see this from way, If you guys want to emotion. keep your um, fruits like alive and well for mm -hmm. longer, put it in the fridge. Like, I don't know how people can eat a warm apple. That's so weird to me. We also have strawberry. I missed a super chat. Hang on. Willow Rogers, thank you for the super chat. Willow Rogers, that's a great name. That sounds like a a character from a book. Uh, Willow says, the way she cooks meat is so triggering for me. Oh my God, me too. Those are pre-cooked sausages, Willow. Mm. I mean, I know so you I'm going to continue this meal. <laughs> and I just noticed that this just keeps me full forever. Yeah. And for someone that has a bigger stomach, AKA me, like I want more food, obviously to feel satiated. So I'm trying to eat very low calorie, healthy foods that keep me feeling full. Yeah, fruit grows outside on trees. You don't really have to refrigerate it. You want your strawberries to taste nice? Leave them on the counter and eat them at room temperature because when shit is cold, it doesn't have the same amount of flavor. So no, Amber, eating your fruit out of the fridge is not preferable. It's really not. I don't know any fruit that you would actually choose to store in the fridge. It's just don't. 
the fridge is the right temperature to um, convert sugars to starch. That's why you don't keep bread in the fridge. That's why you don't keep potatoes in the fridge. And onions, those stuff, you're supposed to keep it in a cool, dark place, but not the fridge. The temperature and the humidity is completely wrong. It converts all your sugars to starches. Cool. Where it feels like I ate so much. Oh, my God. But really, like, I ate so low calorie and so healthy. And it just feels good. All right, you guys. So this is my finished plea. I'm as full as a chick on a dog. I could tell you that. Okay, you guys. So I'm super excited for this purchase. So. I had an air fryer that I had, sorry, I am filled with fur, <laughs> hashtag animals. So I had an air fryer for a couple of years and it was actually recalled. Hashtag animal. I'm not filled with, filled with fur. I'm so sick of hearing her use the excuse. That, oh, because I love my animals so much and we're just always cuddling because they're so obsessed with me. <gasps> Marilyn, Marilyn, th Marilyn, that's a nice name. Thank you for uh, becoming alert. Thank you for joining the channel, Marilyn. Um, we all have, most of us here have animals. Most of us here love on our animals as much as we can. Amber's no more of an animal lover. I don't love Rio any more than you love your cats and dogs, rabbits and rats and ferrets and whatever else you have at home. But she always wants us to think she loves her animals way more. Their bond is way more special than anything we could imagine. It doesn't excuse you from being a filthy pig. Buy a lint roller. Didn't people send her lint rollers in her post office box? I think they did. And I remember every time I would I use it, like my food would taste like plastic. So I read the reviews and people were like, it's totally normal. So it's like, I was like, fine, okay, fine. But it turns out totally not normal. And it was recalled. So I got a new one. Yeah, we don't care. Favorites. I'm trying to say is it's I don't so care. pretty. <laughs> okay, here's what I care about. Instead of buying a quality item, she bought this because it was Drew Barrymore's oh. face on the box. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I'm trying to get it out of the box. What the, the hell box? does Drew Barrymore have okay. to do with kitchen appliances? So here it is. Beautiful. Look at what? There's Drew there being all beautiful herself. Yeah, because Drew so has so much booklet. to do with that. You can also get it in black. I got the white one. She's so stupid. With all the instructions that you You know, they licensed her face for the box, Amber. Drew Barrymore has got nothing to do with that damn fryer any more than I do. Twelve says, uh, Twelve's my limit says I kiss and cuddle my cats, both currently molting, and one is a fluffball, and I'm not covered in hair. Of course not. None of us are covered in hair like that. Some of us are, sometimes. Jan on the Lamb, $300. Is that what that stupid thing cost? Because it's got Drew Barrymore's face? Girl, go buy some quality equipment. Need. Oh, she's heavy. She's heavy. So it comes with plastic wrap. Oh my gosh, look at her. I'm obsessed. And I'm so excited to use her. Blaine's taken off some of the stickers. So no, I'm going to get her ready. Sorry. I'm going to set her up. I don't know if I want to keep her on the counter at all times because it is kind of bulky. I don't like my counter to be super. It's not her. Right shut up. It's not a her. It's a And also, um, it. it is touchscreen. So all of this stuff. How I oh, want to use it because yeah. it is pretty big and bulky. So when I do use it, I will definitely show you guys. Um, I'm so excited. Like I love air fried foods. And there's some things in particular that I really want to give a go. Give it Oh yes, of course, you guys pointing that out. Three hundred dollars for that air fryer, but the ultrasound was eight hundred and she couldn't afford that. The Timu Hall was two hundred bucks or almost. And then, uh, didn't she do a, a Play-Doh haul or something? Or she, I don't know. She's done a couple of hauls. She's more than spent the $800 needed for that. Jamie says it's 118 bucks on Amazon. That sounds better. <laughs> Caroline says, slap Drew's face on medical equipment. Maybe if Miley Cyrus made an ultrasound machine, 
she'd be able to find the money to pay for it. <laughs> I'm trying to, but you guys, I'm cleaning my uh, bathroom. I have two more perfumes that are empty. It is Kardashian perfume. <laughs> um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a using perfume type of girly. Like I love to smell good. I know a lot of people like to correlate bigger people with smelling bad. It's kind of gross. It's I'm just, <laughs> I'm a using perfume type of girly. Like, I love to smell good. I know a lot of people like to correlate bigger people with smelling bad. It's Christ. Okay. It looks like it's going to stay on this time. Holy crap, you guys. I feel like Snowflake and the stupid fire alarm. Thank you for using all your members' chats to tell me I was muted. <laughs> it was a really good rant, too. You know, it's not going to be the same the third time. It was a good rant. I'm going to have to redo it. All right. <sighs> See, being a YouTuber is not easy. <laughs> oh, my God. I really feel like Snowflake when the alarm went off, right? All right, take three. Take three, Amberlynn Reed rant about the perfume. <laughs> this is the hardest job ever, you guys. You don't understand how hard it is. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a using perfume type of girly. Like, I love to smell good. I know a lot of people like to correlate bigger <laughs> people with smelling bad. It's kind of... It feels so stupid saying this is the third time. Okay. Not bigger people. <laughs> not bigger people. It's not just bigger people who smell bad. You're super morbidly obese. You weigh a quarter ton. A little more than a quarter ton. So, it's not shameful to say that physically people of your size tend to have extra rolls and creases and folds and places that get dirty and bacteria gathers and it's through no fault well through full fault it's not you can't necessarily clean those things as well as other people can so smells develop and you have to be you know because of that you got to be 10 times more on your gain than stupid skinny people who, who just don't have those same kind of issues it's not impossible for a super morbidly obese person to not smell, not to have some kind of stank. <laughs> but given that you're on the camera all the time looking filthy, dirty, sleeping in your clothes and wearing them for days on end, I can't imagine that you smell as pure as the driven rain on a spring day. I just don't believe it. Gross. It's Third time's a charm. Fat shaming. We don't have to get into it. But um, also this perfume I got from Pink Sparkles, 
we are almost halfway done with it. I love it. It's Kenzie Buttercup Babe. I never even heard of it until she sent it to me. And, yeah, sent it to me. Who cares? Can we go? Any Kardashians? Can we go? This, um, what is this one called? Can we go? Brussels sprouts with some colorful potatoes. There's like purple, yellow, white. And I'm also going to cut up some steak. Okay, so now I got the steak cut up. I'm going to season it a bit and then add some minced garlic. So now I have everything. Why is her stove so dirty all the time? You can't see it as well, but you can see it a little bit. There's food all over her stove. Why is there? Look at this. Why is there always food all over her stove? I mean, trust, I'm a chef. I know you can, you get crap on your stove when you cook, but you know what happens when something splurts out of the pan onto the stove? I wipe it up and I keep cooking. But there's always dirty food on the stove. I know Destiny's live. You don't have to go watch Destiny. You're here watching Merc. <laughs> I'm going to season it a bit and then add some minced garlic. So now I have everything cooking together. I added some sriracha, a little bit of soy sauce. And now I'm going to oh, put a now. lid and let it cook a bit. Okay. My food is complete. I've never made anything like this before, so I'm excited to do a taste test with you guys. So I got myself a bowl. Your food is incinerated. What in the name of God? Why are you boiling steak? If you're going to boil the meat, then get stewing beef or a... a a braising steak. Or... My food is complete. I've never made anything like this before, so I'm excited to do a taste test with you guys. So I got myself a bowl. I was just really craving a potato. So I tried to figure out... Uh-oh. She's... Potatoes. The potatoes have entered the scene, you guys. The potatoes have entered the scene. I'm afraid for her now. I hope they're cut small. How to make it healthy and have a serving of it. So and by the way, when you guys hear this noise. You know, if that was beef that's stew, I would say that's not bad. It's not a fart. <laughs> Look how delish. This would be so good on top of some rice, but okay. the calories you know what? hardcore are coming from here. Let's be fair. If that was beef stew, I would not think that looked bad. Now. It's not going to taste good. That meat's going to be tougher than my shoe. She boiled steak. She boiled steak. But it, it looked, that would be a nice looking beef stew, I think, right? Let's be fair. It's not beef stew. And it's like I said, it's not going to taste good. But it's not the most unappetizing thing I've ever seen her cook. Quite frankly, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and beef. Nice combination. But it tastes like shit. The steak. So I'm going to pass on that. All right. So let's do a taste test. I'm kind of nervous. But okay. This is the happiest she's looked the whole video. Willow Rogers, thank you for the super chat. Willow says, I guess no PTSD moments about potatoes. <laughs> the shoes, yes. But potatoes are fine. Listen, it wasn't the potatoes fault. Food wouldn't do her any harm. What's wrong with you? But look at this is the first time I've seen her smile this whole video is now that she's got some food in her face. Look at her smile when we come on to her here. It's on that. All right. Yes. So let's look do a taste test. So happy. I'm kind of nervous about the potatoes. Did I cook them all the way? I want to try the steak first. Yeah, you boiled the living There's a little bit of, of everything, Amber. It's cooked. Mm. Chew, chew, That's good. Chew, chew, chew. Oh, yeah. I also added some red pepper flakes. She's, uh, she's editing out chewing. Look, jump cuts. She's editing out chewing. This thing is like a rubber boot, and it's taking her fucking three minutes to chew a piece of that meat. Watch. Watch for the jump cuts. There's a little bit of Brussels. Watch. Mm -hmm. That's good. Coming up. Oh, there yeah. There's one. I also added some red pepper flakes. There's another one. It, like, adds spice without flavor. So it's so good. All right. Are the potatoes cooked? <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Perfectly. Of course, they're perfect. Wait, this is like the best thing I've made in a while. They're not perfect. They're overcooked. They're like falling apart, which is fine for stew. Oh, yeah. See, she cut again. 
That meat's taken her forever. It's like a stir fry in a weird way. (laughs) You can do stir fry with anything, I feel like. So I'm actually in the middle of eating. This is like five minutes later. And I was just like thinking like I've been showing. Caroline, thank you for your member chat. Caroline says uh, four months, Caroline. We ruined chewing for her with our bullying. Bullying. A lot of my food. And I know I've said in the past that like showing my food and like what people say about my food is triggering <laughs> From the lizard but i realized that like disgusting. when i know that i'm on track and i'm doing right i don't care what people say i literally don't care humans are a walking contradiction who we are an hour ago a year ago is different our opinions change constantly and one minute i care and one minute i don't and i realize that when i'm eating healthy or what i consider healthy or is good for my body or makes me feel good in a healthy way not a bad way um I don't care what people say. I don't. So. Huh. But if you don't care what people say, you wouldn't even have to tell people that you don't care what people say because you wouldn't care. That's all I'm saying. Aaron, thank you for the super chat. Aaron says, I am late, but I am here. Look at Mimi. <laughs> Baby. So we're about to watch Krampus because it's Christmas time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it is Vlogmas in June. Oh, I look rough. Wait, let me fix my hair. <laughs> that's a screenshot. No, that's a screenshot. Ella says, I can't watch this part. Seriously, it kind of queezes up my tummy. We're coming into some... uh, Felina's going to be playing with Amber's hair for this whole next scene, and it's kind of disgusting. Why would you touch that? It's so gross. Why would you touch that hair? What's wrong with Fleen? Oh, I look rough. Wait, let me fix my hair. (laughs) Look at this. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> I don't know. I got the giggles. Okay. So we're about to watch Krampus because we were like thinking of a movie to watch. Look at, look at. Know, so I've been talking about look Krampus. I it. want Feline to see it and see if she's so scared of the gingerbread. <laughs> don't, no, Feline, don't touch it. It's supposed to be a scary movie, but there's parts in it that make me feel like oh God, she touches her. Is when this she's a parody? Dirty. Like, I don't know. So I want her opinion. Um, so- like, I thought Amber's bad for allowing herself to walk around like that filthy all the time. The only time I've ever had hair that dirty is when I've been so sick I couldn't get off the out of the bed. But Feline uh, touches her like this. Like, I thought this level of revolting personal hygiene would keep a partner away from you. Fleen seems... She's touching it. Prezhan's, I know. Prezhan says, that laugh will haunt me for the rest of my life. That was a laugh. She's touching it. She won't stop. So, I'm going to have a little snack. I'm going to have a couple of these spicy dill pickle almonds 28 of them is a serving and i actually have had them twice playing in her hair um i had some last night and the night before and oh my god ew, ew. <laughs> and um it's actually accurate it is 28 of them is a serving and it's actually kind of a lot the flavor is so tasty so i'm gonna have some of that twinkies part of our little movie night date night and i yeah. i am feeling a little triggered like this yeah, is we're a moment feeling- where i would want to order food Amber, we are all feeling a little triggered. Like, it's bad enough to look at that hair that dirty, but oh my God, she keeps playing with it. Aaron, thank you for the super sticker. Where'd it go? Thank you, Aaron, for the super sticker. Seriously, it kind of, it's really gross, isn't it? food and just feel good with takeout so i'm not gonna do that and it just makes me i'm gonna drink my water and have my almonds and watch krampus 
Okay, so Feline fell asleep during our movie. She wasn't really liking it anyways, which I understand not a lot of people like Krampus. Why does she have to but, watch But um, H3? H3 is like doing a live show. Yeah, I wish I, I was there. Finished watching but it But thankfully, they are also putting it on their YouTube channel. So I'm currently in the middle of watching that. So I've only been watching this live from H3 for like, let me see, how long? 30 minutes. And I've already gotten the frigid goose bumps. I can't tell you how many times. I just love them so much. Can I just mention uh, that H3 last night, the episode that she was watching, was a special episode because it was Ethan's birthday, so they were doing it live, and it didn't start airing. Hey, is she in my time zone? I think she's an hour earlier, right? Hang on a second. I'll try to remember to unmute this time. What time is it in Lexington, Kentucky? time in Lexington, Kentucky, United States, is 7.08 p.m. Okay, she's in my time zone. That H3 started last night. Please look at Rio. <laughs> Toronto on, is in Eastern Daylight Time. Nobody asked you, Google. Lord, pushy bitch. Um, sorry, I have to do this for just a second. <laughs> he's too cute to resist. So she's in the time, same time zone. What I was trying to say is that um, that H3 special started started at 11 p.m. Thule McSnoot Hole, thank you for the super chat. Thule says, working late again. It's midnight here, so na na night Night, night, Thule. Thanks for dropping by. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but they're my faves. But yeah, I'm having, I'm having my life. Um, I'm about to have my last meal of the night, I think. Um, I can still eat. Okay, I'm seeing this a lot in the chat. Uncle Grandpa, if you're already on Discord, you need to go to your user settings on Discord. And under user settings, you'll find connections. And under connections... It's self-explanatory there. You'll see how to connect your YouTube channel with your Discord. Now, if you just did that, it can take up to an hour before our Discord shows up. But if you just do that, connect your YouTube to your Discord, then our Discord will automatically show up for you if you're a member. There you go. For another two hours, but I'm feeling a little hungry now. This is what I chose for my last meal. We have some olives with some garlic, strawberries, a mandarin. This is a breakfast sandwich with just egg whites and some turkey sausage. I am a tapatio girly. You know what? I think I've noticed because I, I shop at Instacart and I often shop at Walmart for groceries. And I've noticed they have this new item and it's a, bre a pre-made breakfast sandwich that comes frozen. And I'm pretty sure that's that. Like the whole thing on an English muffin with egg and cheese and sausage or bacon. Like there's a few different varieties. And I guess it's like the whole thing is already pre-assembled. You probably, it's probably, you throw it in the microwave, I guess. Username says, yeah, that's a frozen breakfast sandwich. I've just started seeing them this week. So I always put Tapatio on my breakfast sandwich because without it, it's just not the same. Mm. Oh, you can tell the way she, you can tell the way she had to pull on that English muffin, how rubbery it was, because it's microwaved 1000%. How lazy is that? How lazy is that? I mean, I thought of buying those for, for Joan. Joan is 90 years old and I don't trust her to use the stove anymore. So we have to compromise on some things. Emberlyn Reed has no excuses. She doesn't have to buy food like that. Ridiculous. No, that's a 10 out of 10. So I showed you guys everything that I've ate today. So today was kind of like a what I ate today type moment. But I am here to end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Puffin Time says, thank you for the super chat. Puffin Time says, the pollment has been rigged. I demand a recount. <gasps> I'm guessing Puffin Time might have been poem number two from that reaction. Oh, thank God we've got a winner. It doesn't make me have to do. I did not see the muffin in the grocery hall. No, we didn't see any English muffins in the grocery hall. Yeah, that had to be at 2 a.m. she was eating that. I bet you. I bet you it was because H3 started at 11 p.m. last night and it went for, I think, three hours. So I think they finished at 2 in the morning. And Fleen went to bed. Fleen went to bed around 11. I know 224 votes now. Magic Zero Four says, Merc, all Amber, hang on, all Amber knows how to make is stir fry, steer fry, and chili, and she's not even good at that. Oh, Jamie, that's interesting. Jamie says, it shows in the app that her eating window is from 6 p.m. till 2 a.m. Well, see, yeah, that's what I said. She's going to bed at 2 a.m. for sure. Now, so do I. I can't criticize her. Oh my God, see how twinsy we are? We live on the same time frame now too. I go to bed between one and two and I get up between 8.30 and 10. And I'm okay with that because my whole life I got up at friggin' 4.30 in the morning to go to work. So, I, you know, if I don't have to get up till... Oh, look, at he's having a little dream. His little toesies are twitching. Did you see his little toes twitching? Chad is delayed. I'm sure you saw it. It was so cute. That was so cute. I love it when they have twitchy toes. Destiny called Amber and they're talking on live. Oh my god! We can't! I can't. I'll get a strike. God, I want to, but I'll get a strike. We'll definitely watch it on Discord before we play Job Job. Now I want to go watch that, you guys. Jamie says you can snipe. It's not against T TOS. Really? Let me check on that. Let me check on that. I'll definitely, if it's not against TOS, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. Is stream sniping? <laughs> I didn't. Okay, on YouTube. Because I'm not, I'm going to lose monetization tomorrow, so I don't want to do it. Oh, it's not really sniping. Stream sniping is targeting, harassing, and assaulting a person by malicious trolls. Can we do a live reaction? Pulpy syntax does it? Ah, fuck it. Let's go. You wanna? You wanna? Fragrant Swamp Girl says, Puff of Time, I love you, son. Oh. The love stream soon will be making another run. Set a course for adventure. Everyone's doing it? Yeah, for sure. So... Is that Mr. Snowflake in there? I don't, like, I don't understand. No. Like, you calling me, like, what does this do for you? <gasps> She's still talking. I don't know. I just thought I would do it. I didn't think you'd answer, but you called me back. But doesn't your fiance think it's weird that, like, your whole YouTube presence is, like, 
revolved around your ex. <laughs> Tomato Jam is in the chat on Destiny's <laughs> channel. <laughs> She's right here. Like, is that how you bought her a candle? Mm-hmm. With that money? Is that what's up? <gasps> yeah, oh, actually bitch. it is. I don't care. I I figured, I figured as much. Yeah, so you've been watching. If you knew I got her a candle, you've been watching the live. <gasps> don't fucking lie. Oh, I literally have I have people who message me. Like I should show you my Instagram DMs. It is off the chain. Amherst sounds like, really excited to be talking to Destiny. Either reaction channel clips or clips of you or what you say, what you do. Half of it, I'm like, I don't know if I should believe it or not. I haven't even been on here long enough for people to be doing that. Are you joking? Are you joking? You're joking, right? <laughs> okay. I didn't even know you were live. I'm not on YouTube. Okay. Right now. That's fine. I was literally making a smoothie, like I just said. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pause every couple seconds just so I don't lose monetization. Amber wasn't on YouTube. She was eating. <laughs> like if we were FaceTiming, I'd show you, but don't FaceTime me, please. Oh, wait, I had to turn off my FaceTime because I was getting all the... Why am I talking to you? Anyway. Um... <laughs> Doesn't she sound excited? She is. Don't tell me she's still not in love with Destiny. I'm sorry. She sounds like a... She sounds like I sound like when Mr. Snowflake's on the stream. Come on, let's get real here. So your fiance doesn't think this is weird. <laughs> Baby, do you think it's weird? Hmm? I have nothing to say. She has nothing to say. She does not care. Destiny and her fiance are completely unbothered by this. They're just laughing it up because I bet you she's got a lot of viewers. Okay, I'm not going to say anything regarding that. How many viewers mm. does she have? I just think it's really weird. 700. It's very, like, money hungry. If you need to heal, I have a really good therapist. I can give you their number. <laughs> what an idiot. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, like, a good way to heal. It's, like, I mean, like <laughs> Sorry. A, in a healthy way, but I feel like this is very, very unhealthy. And I feel like you're just doing that for money, and it's hurting me. Like, you're not hurting me, but I'm just saying the reaction that the audience is giving is like it has mental what's wrong with her she knows this is on youtube live right now she said she wasn't going to do this anymore she wasn't ever going to respond to destiny again mess with my mental health a little bit that's apparent and you know what you're doing and it's all for money and it's kind of scary and i didn't think you were that type of person God, she's too much. She's such a narcissistic <clears throat> manipulator. Because you know I did nothing to you. All the tea Thank you for the super chat. Kaza, three month member, says Amber telling someone else they're unhealthy. You share it I can narc alert this whole conversation. Exposing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the only tea you have on me is I have a bad attitude. Yeah, I do. And then you sit there and you say, Amber Lynn is a good person. But she has her attitude that gets in the way. Have you ever thought of, like, mental illness is a problem? What? My mental illness gets in the way of a lot. Mm-hmm. And I have <laughs> bad Here she goes with her victim shit. <laughs> the same reason she said she... Her excuse for saying what she said to me about the heart attack was because she gets triggered. Because she's got mental illnesses and sometimes she doesn't speak from her best heart. She's doing the same shit here. I'm definitely mark alerting this. This sounds like I'm talking to my fucking like mother. And you know that you did. And you you just know that you did. So it's like... Where did I treat you like shit? Every time we would hang out. That's not true. Well, you shouldn't have such a bad attitude. Well, then why did you keep hanging out with her? Why did I have a bad attitude? Because apparently I treated you like shit. <laughs> Thank you. Like, put two and two together. I don't just have bad attitudes to people who are, like, it's like, if you don't respect me, I'm not going to respect you, type style. But. Why is she even having this conversation right now? Why isn't Feline more concerned that Amber is more excited about being on the phone to clear up things from this long ago from an ex from so far in the past? Don't tell me that you're not still into destiny. Come on. At the time, I accepted friendships that I thought I deserved. And that mm-hmm. is why I stopped talking to you, because I realized I did not deserve 
that type of person in my life. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, YouTube don't buffer now. No! What happened? Someone said, did she report the stream? It is June oh, no. 21st, and we are off. I know you don't, we're not going to stream snipe Ethan. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. You know, just out of curiosity, I'd like to just check my own uh, back end here and make sure that I'm, I haven't been... It was on Destiny's end? Yeah, but that was a technical glitch because that was in mid-sentence. She didn't do that herself. Okay, we're still good. Everything's still good over here. Her connection was lost, Miss Tomato Jam says. Is she coming back on, Miss Tomato Jam? She's back. Other people do this all the time, you guys are telling me. I know, but I don't normally. She titled it ALR Phone Call. I said I've admitted to everything I've ever done wrong. Okay, but this is a weird way of like the closure. They put slow mode on one minute. Oh come on, she's having t she's having problems streaming her wi-fi sucks don't you think no but you okay my whole thing is like i didn't think you were a bad person but i guess now i do <laughs> look at this like you know the type of reaction i was going to receive by you doing this oh well, i haven't necessarily gotten good reactions bullshit what good reactions have I got? As soon as I got on live, everyone said I got fat. So, I you act like I'm getting all this praise. You are. Literally everyone is bad. following you. Team Destiny, Team Destiny, Amberlynn's an abuser. Like, because of everything Oops. that you're saying. Oops. And it's like the one incident where I could slightly be an abuser. It didn't even happen. Such a victim. You're a very manipulative person. Oh, so manipulative, Destiny. I have come to terms that my mental illness does make me manipulate in ways. Manipulate. Manipulate. Ugh. And in the relationship I'm in now is like mature. And we're trying to grow together and learn together. And it's like... For my mental illness to be used against me by my ex is pretty shitty. You act like I'm doing this on purpose to mess with you. She's not using your mental illness against you, Amber. Destiny has every right to tell her side of a story of a past that she lived through. She's allowed to do that. That's her life, too. And Destiny has been pretty damn cut and dried facts only no emotional crap at all you're really lucky she is who she is because amber you could be getting it so much worse and what are you doing i'm healing this isn't healing Last yeah time, I'm just a wrestler telling me i stink that's not healing that's not healing amber lynn only gets to tell you how you get to heal It doesn't count unless Amber has said it's okay. You don't get to choose how you heal. That part's not. Such a freaking so that? I was just playing the game. What game is that? I'm just giving the people what they want. And what is that? Tea. I was answering questions when I said all those things. 
it's making it's forever making people have something else to literally harass me about and to bully me about destiny did not give us anything new to harass amber about she is really triggered by destiny saying she smelled I'm sorry, Amber, that's not new. Everybody has assumed that for ages anyway. I believe there's even video where Eric or Ricky's nephew or something is over and complains about the smell in the house. It's not bullying. It's just the facts. I'm sorry. you do. At times, you probably haven't smelled very good. You know what I deal with. On I could have not said a word and not be vlogging right now and people would have shit, shit to say about you. Of course, you're just making it a million times worse. She's engaging Thornback because she's a goddamn narcissist and she cannot help herself. She cannot let Destiny have the last word ever. Are you kidding me? Mm mm. Narc's gonna narc. And the fact that, like, She's not Your in on this. Is in on this? Like, what the her fuck? ego won't let her My not do this. My in on this. What do you mean? You literally, like, back when I was watching your live streams, like, one you did a couple weeks ago, you said how Timothy is, like, your, like, guiding you or whatever. I He's, like, a wannabe was. manager. He doesn't actually do anything. Like, how shitty is that? Like, you want, like, I know T on him. Like, I know T on your whole fucking family times 12, but I'm not that person. You have T on my brother. Yeah, he was a coke addict. Oh my god. Wow. I mean shit. How did you know that? Who the fuck told you that? You fucking told me, Destiny, we were friends. Like you act like we were like enemies or something. I'm sure to remember when that was going. I was one of the first people you called when you found out that your dad was not your dad. Like you forget how <gasps> close we were and you just like Why is she saying all this? She knows she's live on YouTube. You runt. Holy crap. Shove that down the toilet. Holy crap, Amber. My brother's business is my brother's business. Oh. I don't think he cares. Everyone knows that. I know. That's why I'm not going to sit there and talk about you. Like, I've dealt with it. Like, I felt like I had to defend myself. So that's I'm... why I did what I did. And I realized it was so bad for mental health. And I'm just not that type Thank of person. Press. Like, at all. And it's like you and Becky being in cahoots is fucking disgusting. Me and Becky are not in cahoots. Whatever. You are. You don't know what Becky put me through. And no one does. No one does because I am not that person. Oh my god. This is too good. Oh my and god. Somehow, so, and like, oh my god, the whole Casey thing. The Destiny has She's pulling Becky back into this. Oh my god. Leave Becky alone. Oh, I gotta do that short. Please leave Becky alone. Becky needs to heal from this. And if talking to Destiny is helping Becky heal, then let her talk to Destiny. Because you don't get to gatekeep healing for everybody. I forgot, I've never, like, hated you more. What do you mean? Because you know I'm telling the truth. And you have always stood by me. <laughs> like, I wish you would just fucking leave my name out of your mouth. I mean, same. On with your life. And I'm sure Becky feels the same way. I don't talk about her. I don't want to hear it, because you do. And still me. I I literally haven't talked about you in, I, what, live stream era, which was two years ago, and then here you come around the woodwork. You can't say you haven't talked to me talked about me since live stream era, and then you I made know, videos keeps saying that about me. Look at all the alerts in here. Ella keeps saying that uh, Michael B. Petty is in here, in the chat. Is he? There he is. Hola, we heart you. When I've been making videos, that makes no damn sense. I literally, I was just about to say the only reason why I started talking about you was to defend myself. And when it comes to Becky, <laughs> that Becky girl decided that we will not talk about each other. <laughs> I have not talked about her. 
That's why Becky has literally texted me saying she doesn't understand why you can't keep her name out of your mouth. When? For how long <laughs> Miss ago? Tomato Jam in there riding like hard. It was like a month ago. I have not talked about Becky. You know what? I'm going to give Amber credit here. She has not talked about Becky since the big or kerfuffle last year. And, and Becky told, like, she hasn't mentioned Becky's name. There was a story she did tell in the last few months, and she mentioned she referred to her as an ex-girlfriend. Like, she didn't say her name. Can I just say to you guys, I'm really glad that I actually ate before the stream tonight, which, you know, I never do. I don't know. I don't watch your stuff. You, you want, you're obsessed with Karina Kaboom, who literally twists everything that I say. What's wrong with Karina Kaboom? She's a nice lady. <laughs> Just me. You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> she literally twists everything that I say to fit her narrative for her channel to make money. She's going to have a field day with this. <laughs> I, I didn't know that I would... I didn't know that you were alive still. <laughs> I wouldn't have talked about Becky. <laughs> my mods are oh in there riding God, I hard. Hate you. No, it, it it like froze and I had to get off and then oh it finally went back God, on. I did not know you were still alive. Mike, I would not have talked about Becky. Because Michael B. Petty says all of a sudden Amber remembers everything, but two weeks ago she was saying that PTSD makes her memory bad. Girl, Because I... Literally, like I uh, said, I am respectful. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, that's why you can be rude all of a sudden. Okay, it's making sense now. That's not why I was being rude. Oh my god, she's you so manipulative. You, yeah, your tone shifted for sure. <laughs> but like, I wish you would just like literally stop talking about me. I'm trying to get past through all this shit, get what? done talking about you, and then move on. I just have to finish it. And all my mods are in that chat. You guys are too okay, funny. You said a few live <laughs> streams ago that you were going to start making reaction channels of my videos. <laughs> not <laughs> like reaction. not like your current videos, though. Destiny has every right to react to Amberlyn Reed's videos just like any one of you or I do. You made a public video, you put it on YouTube, everybody's allowed to react to it. And I'm gonna say the ones she's in, she's even got more of a right to react to. She's in the damn videos. Like it ones that I would matter. Like. like, why can't, like, the same way that I want to respect Becky, which I am, why can't you do that for me? <laughs> what? You just said because you're, the way you respect Becky, why can't I do that for you? Correct. Why can't exes just not talk about exes? Move on. You have a You still haven't there. stopped talking about Becky. What do you mean? <laughs> that rains. Or me. Yeah. If you really didn't care that much. Matt Rains, thank you for the super chat. Matt says, if it ever comes up here. I'm broke after those super chats. <laughs> Shake my head. <laughs> then stop doing it. And Biscuit is a member for six months. Biscuit brought the popcorn. Excellent. She didn't want the, all this. You wouldn't have posted oh, anything Valentine's about me, but you made sure. You guys are too and funny. after I started going live, that you went live. You made sure that you made videos. Yes, you put my yes. name in the title in there of your too. videos. <laughs> yes, you literally were saying lies about me and my character. Of course I'm going to say something. I wasn't lying about you. Yes, in the beginning, you said how I hit your mom. I said it's I did not say that you hit my mom. Go back and watch. I did not say word for word. She hit my mom, this so my mom hit her. Are you, you guys having as much? Are you guys having as much fun as I am? This is like the best live stream I've seen in ages. App Fax is in there Brother, too. <laughs> I never once put a finger up toward your mom, and I addressed that. I told them that you did not lay a hand on her. You did not get the chance. Okay. Well, then tell me why the first time you told that story, you made it seem like I hit her. You because. I did not know what happened before she hit you over the head with that K-cup thing. And then you came on and said that she had gone upstairs and started throwing perfume Good. at you. And then I remembered that. It was a very traumatic oh, event for me. Out. You were there. I oh. told them that as well. Yes, yes, yes. That was traumatic to watch your mom beat up your girlfriend. 
I understand that. That is why I instantly was there for you. I didn't give a fuck Jade, about go what get your girl somebody super I instantly chatty. got a cold washcloth. Do you not remember any of that? I'm no, I really don't. I was definitely blacking out with that first panic attack I ever had. <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember. I didn't give a care that she just beat me up. I have bruises on my body. I did not care. I know Rio's I was missing it all. I you because I was worried about you and what you just Amber's experienced. But you now, mean. as a 32-year-old woman, I'm like, hot damn diggity. My girlfriend... Do you think Amber Lynn Reed might go live tonight after this? I have a feeling she might. And let her mom beat me up. That's how I view it. And I'm having a recola. See, I just said it right to whoever corrected me in my comments. I was putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. It's recola. And I'm having one, so I'm sorry. Presence is in there too and says Amber Lynn is going to die because she gave up on herself. And that's how I talk to my therapist about it. And it's shitty. It's a shitty situation. Like your mom mentally and emotionally abused me. And you know that. Every single day we would come home from work. <laughs> Test. To me. I love how I said that too. I addressed it. Like, I don't understand. Like, what is happening? Like, I am just so beyond confused of any of this. I just want you to stop talking about me and just move on. There's nothing else to say. Like, honestly. Like, I am asking you with, like, you're a grown woman now. Just use your brain. <laughs> oh my god, you ignorant runt. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I understand that you're doing this for money, but it's not worth it. Why? I'm not doing this for money. You are. I'm not. I could care less if there was money. I know you. Oh, I can't. Slow mode. Frig slow mode. And yes, I started talking about you again to defend myself because I felt like I had to. Because you were the only thing that people were talking about. And I felt like backed up against a wall. No. We also talked backed up against a wall. about Mr. Smith. Yeah, I felt like I had to defend my name. Oh, fucking slow mo. Like, I know for a fact, like, if the roles were reversed, you'd probably want to do the same. <laughs> Destiny's like, over there's this. nothing. Like, there are several Sorry, things thank that you, I could Jam. obviously spill tea about, which I've chosen not to, because I'm not that person, and anything I've ever spoken of is because of what you've already said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lola, I know. <laughs> it's like mean, I mean, epi live episode of Mean Girls. Right before your very eyes. Damn, I feel like I needed to get a little vent session out. But please don't ever call me again. Don't text me. Have fun with your life. I literally had to unblock your number to call you. It's fine. Okay. You're the one that unblocked me on Facebook and had to go out of your way and message me. I said one thing about your mom. I just said I didn't know that she had gotten trouble for apparently some kind of service dog incident. Okay, well, she did. So like I said, Somebody in there wrote, Ew, out of your mouth. <laughs> I mean, same to you. You brought your mom up first. I don't understand what you were talking about. I'm just saying you can't tell me that when you don't do it. Like I get I that it was addressing what happened to you with her, Where but there's no reason for you to still talk about right. her anymore. Like you're forgetting the characters in the story, I think. Forgetting the characters in the story? What are you talking about? Like Just Celia, thank you for the four month member chat. Celia says this is the best. Your mom was a big character in your tea spilling uh, situation. Yeah, she was. And yeah. it, you didn't have to talk about her. Besides of what happened to you. And that is all I talked about her. I didn't say anything else. Trust me, there's a lot I could say. And Trust you know me. that. Why? And I'm choosing not to because I love her and I respect her. And you know that we got close. No, she's not here. Say hi to um, Karina. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no Karina. Like, <laughs> like if you go to my history, I think that's one of the ones that like is the funniest to me. Um, people think that I watch her and like, 
You used yeah, to watch her to watch all the Rachel, time. But she is literally probably the only one that I truly never watch. Why? What do you got against apathetic facts? What well, is going on with my, that? They steal my content. I don't want to get into that right now. <sighs> Slow mode. They need to make their own content. I feel like they'd be good at it. Oh, apathetic facts is on here too. You got something to say to them? Well, come on, Jesse. No, I just, I, I'm honest to God, I feel like they would be good at making their own content or like Thanks adding to PJ. new, uh, like characters. To All mix, my mods are in like, there. Different YouTubers, like do like Shane Dawson, do some Trisha Paytas, like we do. People that. Do people that um, Destiny's enjoying this now? Followers and see what happens. <laughs> Karina said, <laughs> "Let me see what she said." It's going so fast. Where did it go? She said, "Ask her why she stole James Charles's content and everyone else's." I didn't think he posted anyone else's content. No, I don't. I think I've done. Willow Rogers, thank you for the super chat. Six <laughs> Willow says, Amber keeps going on and on about how weird this is on Destiny's End, but she's ignoring Fleen to argue with her ex. I know, it's so weird. And my whole 10 years of being on YouTube, and I reacted to James's video one time because he was like singing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mons. <laughs> I'm so confused. But yeah, um, if she wants to compare the two, I mean, I mean, that's just an example of why I don't like the woman. Like, what? How are you going to compare the two? Well, yeah, it's the same thing, Any Amber. Any other questions before I hang up? Don't call every... Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? Why did she not beg for permission like she expects apathetic facts to? Because I reacted to one video. Oh, so it's okay for just one. I think I... I've uploaded like about over 3,000 videos on YouTube and six of them are reactions. And you know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to say 10 of them are reactions. We don't care, Amber. I'm scared. I'm going to say 15. <laughs> like, I've barely reacted and I have like over 3,000 videos on YouTube. So all my content is mine. Do you have beef with Michael B. Petty? Um, I used to. I hope he's doing all right. I think he, wasn't really beef. he messaged like, me like the other day asking to play Fortnite. I was like, okay. I don't really care. Okay, though. Cute. I hope he's doing good. I haven't heard about him in forever. God. Oh, Michael B. Petty's mean? okay, but I'm not? Come Fun on, fact. now? I guess he was on here at some point. Oh. Huh? Anything else? Because I swear to you, this is it. Like, have fun making money on this phone call. Um, If you'd like, give me half. Like from everything <laughs> you have, don't even start with your <laughs> shit. How are you this. in a good way? I need you to admit how much money I have spent on you. Now that's the tea. That is the real tea. Why? Nobody cares. I don't care Amber. how much money you say you spent on me. You made plenty of money off of me. Uh -huh. That was Amber's choice to spend that money on her. Either in the relationship or post relationship. Amber's choice to spend that money. I don't know how bad I am. All of it, like I'm a money given type of girly. I know we're probably a little bit behind, but I just want to play it safe. I got to pause to react to make it transformative. You know, you know how we play here. But like I said, I'm 32 now. I'm like literally grown or trying to be grown. Yeah, you're. So grown. I don't let people take advantage of me anymore. Thank God, I've learned from my mistakes. You don't, Anyways, so you don't pay questions? for any of your friends to do anything with you? Or is it because you don't have any? No, I don't pay for people anymore. I'm done. Ooh, destiny. Like, I've, I am in a relationship with someone who pays half the bills, and it's fucking splendid. <laughs> like. Fucking splendid. Well, what do they do for work? None of your fucking business. <laughs> People, I feel like people who are listening are probably gonna be like, "Oh my god, Amber is so mean," but you're probably like, "Okay, that's just like her personality." Me saying none of your fucking business, you know me just joking. But um, yeah, it is not your business though, and I mean that nicely. Wow, she's ridiculous. But it is a really good job. I'm proud of her. What about the one you go, Becky? Carlina's the spoiler. She doesn't hang up. Oh, Destiny. 
you know more than anyone. Actually, see, I don't want to talk about Becky. I didn't know you were so live streaming, so I'm not going to actually answer that question. But if you were off a live stream, I would answer that question. <laughs> she knows she's on this live stream, and she's saying all this stuff. This is wild. She's weird. I just when I asked about her working or your whoever it is, your whoever you live with, what they do for a job. I was just asking. I didn't know if they did like online stuff or what. Oh. Say it. Say something, Amber. Anything else? <laughs> This is like literally one time and then we're done. Do you have anything like, else I to wanna, say? I want to respect my partner. Like, she oh. doesn't tell me what to do by no means. How is this respecting your partner, Amber? The hell, man? But like, I feel like this is might be slightly disrespectful. Like, I don't know though. I mean, it seems like she's fine with it, but like I wish that you would also respect She doesn't know that's spending all this time and energy obsessing about her ex-girlfriend. She doesn't know if that might bother her partner. Are you kidding me, you selfish friggin' narcissist? Beyonce in the same way, and I really hope that you don't cheat on her. I just want to say that. I mean, she's been here this whole time, just listening and watching. Uh-oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Squeaky laugh. This is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. So hang up, Amber. You're done, right? She Why won't end the call. Why did you Clean lie about right. the person you're with and say it's been two different people and it's not? I didn't lie. Destiny. Destiny's reading all Come of the comments. I it's already lie. out there. Becky already Nothing told me it's all out there. It's also, it's also out there all kinds of bullshit that lies that don't even make any sense about me. Like rumors are rumors. That's exactly that. It wasn't a rumor. Becky said you literally moved her in there with you when Becky was still living there. Uh, that is a lie. Says That's Maury. not a lie. We watched it. Says what? Becky was not living here. No, Becky was at her family's with the fake COVID thing. And that's when you moved Fleen in. When Becky was at her family's quarantining. That's exactly when Fleen came over and never left again. Like, it was right after y'all broke up. Becky was not living here. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Amber. Like, you literally bringing Becky into this conversation is on you, bro. I want you to know that. It's fine. But she does not want to be talked about online. Becky I literally knew. said I could have called her if she wasn't at work right now. I don't think to talk about tea. I know damn well not to talk about me. Oh, she's she's pretty confident that Becky's not going to say anything, isn't she? I don't want Becky to be back into this shit. But if she is, I want her to spill all of it. Because that's how she can heal. I don't know what we would have talked about. She's at work. Because she told me, do not talk about me. And I told her, okay, then you don't talk about me either. And we agreed as two individuals who once loved each other and cared about each other to do that. And now you are like manipulating me into talking about her. So can if you have anything to ask, <laughs> let it be about me Classic. and the drama with you and not Classic. my girlfriend. Not Becky. Like, you're just trying to, like, get me into this little, like, spider web, and it's not happening. <clears throat> like, you're a manipulator, too. Like, truly. <laughs> yeah, but you love the that I'm it. saying and the way that I'm acting comes from a place of, like, pain. Just saying. Like, I just feel like everything that you're doing is fucked up. Why are you still talking, Amber? I was actually trying to get off here, and then they were like, call her. And then I, when I went to look at my phone, I saw that you had messaged me. And I was like, oh. Oh, you messaged her first. Is that so? Mm -hmm. My smoothie is melted now. So you could have been eating it, drinking it, whatever. Well, oh, you wrecked your smoothie. No, I wasn't able to enjoy it. Oh, my God. I'm trying to be a healthy queen. Oh, my God. 
You wrecked her smoothie. She can't enjoy it now. It's melted. She's trying to be healthy, and you're stopping that. So. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, why would people make up something saying that you you're saying it? it's my fault that you, like, regressed in this weight loss surgery journey? Oh, if you didn't saying, say that. I have not posted on any social media besides YouTube. So if you need to, for clarification... Go watch my videos on times two speed to see that I have not talked about weight loss surgery or you. Why is everyone saying you got denied for it? <laughs> because people are spreading lies that aren't even real. I did not get denied for weight loss surgery on period. Uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Are you still going to go through with it? <laughs> Destiny. Oh, girl. I will talk about my surgery on my channel. That's fine. Oh, my God. Oh, this is beautiful. Amber can't get out of that. So go, Amber. Hang up the phone. Why won't she end the call? Why is she sitting there and not ending the phone call? What's wrong with her? This is weird, right? Anything else? She doesn't want to let it go. That blast. Some of the silence is so loud. I'm <laughs> just waiting. No, I'm waiting. Like, because get it all out now. Because I swear to you, I'm done. And you how many times are you going to say it? <laughs> 500. And uh, yeah, 500 times. Oh. There's something wrong with my lung, man. Sorry, change the topic. Oh, oh it kind of worries me, but that's a whole other situation type deal. When's your next video going to be uploaded? Um, I don't know. I didn't film today because, you know, it's Saturday. I want to spend time with my girlfriend um, and just focus on that. Hmm. Maybe, like... Monday or Tuesday? I don't know, somewhere around there. I uploaded four days in a row, so. Do you eat cottage cheese a lot for some reason? Because people keep saying that you eat cottage cheese. They're still talking? I don't yes. know why that's a You guys are, I'm, I'm glad some of you are watching it live. Oh my good lord. Bob Smith, I agree. Bob Smith says... She doesn't want, this thing is not, there, it's so slow. She doesn't want to hang up because she's not over destiny. I know what this is like to be mad at an ex, but not want to let them go. Bob, that is so succinct, and I think we all know that. I've been there, too. Because you know when you hang up, then you're done, right? And you don't want it to be done. It's, <laughs> it's part of my new uh, diet plan. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to have Isn't it weird? Ah, oh, Jewel, thank you for the... Oh. oh, that's Jamie. Jamie, thank you for the super sticker. Holy cow, Jamie. So generous. You don't have to do that. You know that. Um, Where do you fall? Don't you find it weird how she can switch from being so intensely angry in one moment saying, I hate you, and then now she just starts ch chatting about her health? And her new lifestyle and her cottage cheese, just like she's talking to her best buddy. It's weird. Would you put you have mustard on your right? Yes, Beth, I am. I miss Carter. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, this thing isn't working very well tonight. Yep, I do. It's not working. Beth says, thank you for the super Ten, chat. Beth says, aren't you, <laughs> aren't you glad we pressured you into watching? Yeah, I am. Let's check and see if I'm still monetized. <laughs> Someone said, what is that noise? They probably heard Carter growl. Still good. We're still good. Oh, that's a doggo. You apparently farted and blamed it on gunshots. When did you do that? No, is she, is she really, it was really actually gunshots. Everybody I farts. Never, it's okay. I have never... <laughs> 
So Biscuit, thank you for gifting a member. Like, my farts aren't like. Who did Biscuit bang, rent? Like, you know? Ditlo Antonio is now being rented for the month by Biscuit. Welcome. Anyways, I think I can go. Everyone's going to love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, um, Prez, started. thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Prez says, uh, Oh, these things aren't working on me today. Destiny is high. Destiny is high and having fun. ALR is desperate for attention. That is exactly it. You better give me half of this money. <laughs> Karina said, Amber, Destiny, the one that got away, stay mad? Question mark. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, honestly, I am very grateful for the path my life has taken because I am very much in love and happy with my partner. That's good. So am I. Uh-huh. Your actions don't show it. Oh my god. Oh <gasps> yes. I boo think, boo. I think he wants you. Wow, she's rude. Wow, she's rude. I'm happy and I'm successful and I'm happy with my partner. And Destiny says, That's good for you, so am I. And she goes, Well, you sure you doesn't show it. My God, that sounds like Joan. Jesus Christ. Such a narc. God, she's a narc. I don't care what she says. Guess what, Amber? You are a narcissist. Someone said she's obsessed with money. That's disgusting. No. I... <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to even explain myself because that's just... I'm the farthest from what people think that I am. No, you're not. I'm not going to sit here and try to explain myself. Yeah, yeah, you are. That's all if you do. People don't know how to like take a joke or like dress into humor. Then I don't know what to tell them. She thinks she has a, a, a UK members. She thinks she has a dry sense of humor. She doesn't even know what that means. Megan M, thank you for gifting five members. Megan has just lent, uh, rented a. We'll have to come up with a word for what a. I don't know. A grouping of alerts. I don't called. know. What does that mean? You still having 10 zeros a day? Huh? Karina said, are you still Shh. It's okay. That little dog is very Karina nice. said, are you still having 10 zeros a day? What does that mean? Zeros. 10 zeros a day. Nobody knows. I don't know what that means. Stop reading Karina's comments. Know. Read somebody else's comments. Like mine. Oh, someone said Coke Zero. What do you like, Coke Zero? Oh, no, I haven't had... <laughs> Thank oh, you, God, Analog. I haven't, had, <laughs> I haven't had a soda. This is so Coke weird. Day. I'm watching three chats at the same time. Oh, I've been drinking nothing but water. Yeah. Someone I'm also said Oreos. <laughs> Oreos. God, I haven't had Oreos in forever since I was vegan. <laughs> You've had Oreos kidding. since you were vegan. <laughs> I know. I'm just fucking... Uh, but yeah. So you were just lying. And you got called out and then you said it's okay. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I noticed yesterday. I was like, oh my god, a I have a diet of soda. That might be forever. Forever. I know. It feels like forever Jamie to agreed. Be someone who would drink quite a few a day. <laughs> me? No, me. Oh. Someone said no, code red. Oh no, my god. <laughs> Why won't the thing show up on the happened. screen? Thank you, Jamie. Oh, Jamie says, listen to how happy Amber happened. is to answer questions I, about well, herself. I have never in my life threatened my life. That's the part that, like, really, like, confuses me. Where I'm like, Destiny's memories are so out of whack. Wow. Like, I don't remember ever doing that. A flirt of flirts. That's good. Amazing. Maybe you blacked out. Oh my goodness. Why won't she end this phone call? It was all a dream. <laughs> this is amazing to me that she's doing this. <sighs> what? Nothing. 
<laughs> Destiny. Destiny, she's got to be watching by now. Hang up, end the call. Look at the super chats, but they literally say question retracted. Um, Danny Moore, thank you for the super chat. Oh, it showed up finally. Danny says pure narcissistic rage on display here. What a psycho. Absolutely. You're whoever you're dating is going to make an appearance in a video. A little too familiar. Nope. I agree. Look at the community. I don't want to put her in that. Oh, you don't want to put her in that, but you put everyone else. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's called everyone else was fine with that. Well, why aren't they? What are they so scared of? Like, what's the big deal? Because she's a grown-ass woman. She doesn't want to be on the internet. She doesn't have social media. Hmm. Bullshit. Like, completely different. She doesn't have social media, yet she knew who you, Amberlyn Reed was on YouTube and messaged her on Instagram, but she doesn't have social media, you guys. I'm a specimen of what I am. I am social media based. Like, that is my job. She oh, doesn't Brenda, even have thank social you. media. She doesn't do that type of stuff. She doesn't want to be a part of it. Then how did y'all meet if she doesn't have social media? Good girl, Destiny. Good girl, Destiny. Why is it in her business? Yeah. <laughs> She's saying. Like, it doesn't make any sense to, if she yeah, had social media then, but she doesn't now. Oh, Mob of Lurts is good, too. He yeah. doesn't have social media at all. What a liar. Oh, a, a Vina of Lurts. Say. That's very good. Like, YouTube. Like, she has a YouTube, like, to watch YouTube. Durr, like, who doesn't? But, like, she just doesn't do the social media thing. Clearly she does. Wow. A litter of lurts. That's good too, Jamie. A lot of lurts. <laughs> you guys are great. I'm going to read these. Like, all. why isn't your uh, fiance really part of the live streams? She's been part she of the is, live she's streams. She's been here the whole time. She's made a few appearances in this one, even. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. But some people just don't want to be a part of it. It's a weird gig. Then. Why is she ever on the camera? Why is she stroking your greasy hair it's on like camera? It's different. It's like, there's certain communities on YouTube, and some of them, like, are just vicious, and you know it. Like, you see your, your, the people who, like, you just know. You she, know. She means us. I don't need to go any further, but it's just, like, it's just so much harassment that, like, why would someone want to put themselves in that, that position? Bye, Danny. Karina said, amazing Saturday night for Amber to call her ex and discuss two of her exes. See, this is perfect prime example of Karina Kaboom only seeing things in black and white and only seeing things in Amber Lynn's the bad guy, while Destiny is the one who she likes, supposedly, um, who is making content about her ex, who actually called her ex, who is sitting next to her fiance while doing it. So how does that make any sense? Hmm. Like, so what she just said about me, she can say about you too, but she's not going to. That is the reaction channel community. And you know what? I'm going to give Zach, I'm going to give Zachary Michael props because he's the only one that can speak up on your bullshit. Literally the only one. Ow. So round of a freaking applause, Zachary Michael. Well, because when this whole thing first started... That is when I was still watching him when this whole, like, when this first started. And he okay. was calling you out on your bullshit. And I was like, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I thought you had beef with him. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm not, I don't see things in black and white. I can dislike someone, but still agree or disagree with some of the things that they do. Reaction channels don't know how to do that. They just. No, Amber, I say actually some pretty nice things about you sometimes. I just reacted to your video and I said that that beef meal that you made would actually, if that was a beef stew, would look pretty good. Because like you, I can, I can, you know, think two things can exist at the same time. I've been trying to explain this to you for months now, Amber. Like me, so they dislike everything I say or do. 
I'm not that type of person. I can literally hate you, but love something that you do. That's called being and a Amber is aware that's that this is being streamed. In different perspectives, he knows Destiny is live a lot right of now. People, AKA Karina Kaboom, don't know how to do that. Just saying. <laughs> Someone said you too for money. <laughs> I heard it's a good oh, yeah. business. Like two T O O T. Yep, two. <laughs> oh my god! I wish I could fart for money. That'd be cool. I heard it's a good business. Or like selling your fart air. Yeah, there's someone on Ninety Day Fiance that does it. Not anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like selling your bath water. Oh my god! You'd have Ew. to bathe, Amber. You don't bathe, Wait, Amber. You gotta. Do that. You gotta have a bath to create the bath water. What's wrong with you? <laughs> God. Someone will buy it. I know it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. No, it's Karina. She's got the check yeah, mark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Karina was talking about <laughs> when she said O's, she meant orgasms. <laughs> she just said it. She said, Sorry, I'm not as cool as Amber and I don't get to do it 10 times a day. <laughs> Wow. So, I'm not going to comment on that. I don't need to know that. But I do want I to know say, I need to know that. 10 orgasms it doesn't mean you have to have sex 10 times. Just saying. Oh my God, please don't. don't if that makes sense. Please don't start Anyways, talking. Not no. continuing this conversation. Yeah, please. And nobody needs to know any of that. No, nobody wants okay, to know any of that. Why, please. why would a grown ass woman ask me that then? Okay. I guess because you bragged about it at one point. Bra saying something doesn't always mean bragging. Well, saying you said something about it. things. Getting on social media and talking about having 10 orgasms a day when you're over 30 years old and you live with your life partner is a little braggy, Amber. It's stupid. It's cringy. But it's also because you're bragging. Come on. Two completely different things. No, it's not. Nobody needs to know the intimate details of your sex life. Grow the fuck up. She said she's mentioning it because you posted it. Yeah, but how long ago, Karina? Someone said you can't sell bath water if you don't shower. That's my line. Okay. First of all, bath water isn't shower water, and shower water isn't bath water. I don't take baths, but I do shower. So, no, I couldn't sell bath water. Just sell toots. If you gotta do it, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I was rude. She's not reading my comments anyway. Where's Twinkie? Twinkie is right next to me being a cutie pie. And so is Rarittles and Wasabbles. I hate it when she says Rarittles and Wasabbles. I will say that is one thing I got good from our relationship as a child. I know we all have really cute, our own pet names for our pets. And I call Mr. Man all kinds of names. So, you know, she's, she's it's fine. She can call them whatever she wants, but that just gets under my skin. Oh, a child. Three children. Three children, actually. They're not children, I Amber. The Always in my heart, though. Gracie. Mm -hmm. Gracie. Is she talking? Yeah, I was telling my girlfriend she would have loved Jax. Oh. She was a good cat. Loved. Oh, I thought she was going to talk about Gracie. Katie. <laughs> Any other questions before I hop off here? You're never going to hop off. Because <laughs> I feel like there's no like ending point. I don't know when to end it. Like I feel bad like hanging up, so I don't know what to do. I like so just tell me no. I got some tarot cards in the mail today. I'm going to be a tarot queen. What does OBCD stand for? It stands for fat shaming. That's not what the letters are. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Someone asked if you ever got diagnosed with it. Press what Hens, thank you for the super chat. She said, I, I said she sells toots as a joke, but she sees it as a 
perspective. <laughs> Sorry, it fell off the screen here. Hang on, let me find you over here on this side. Prez Hens said, I said she sells toots as a joke, but she sees it as a prospective job opportunity. Stand for. It's obesity. Like O-B-E-S-I-T-Y. I said O-B-C-D. Wait, did I spell that right? Oh my you God. spelled obesity right, but it was O-B-C-D. Oh my God. -E Are they this dumb? -I no, someone asked if you ever got diagnosed with O- B as in boy, Are they C as in dumb? cat, D as in dog. Yeah, it's like it's for obesity. They're fat shaming. I guess I don't understand. Destiny truly doesn't get Good, it. Good, because you're not a fat shamer. I'm telling you, call me sumo wrestler. What, and why yes. does uh, she Foodie Beauty think she has anything girl. to say about me? Say what? Why does Foodie Beauty think she has anything to say about me? Is she? Aaron says Lex is trying to tap her, her arm. I know. Oh, that's why I'm saying why she called us sumo wrestlers. And she doesn't like you either, but she was defending you. Yes, Destiny's trying to keep her on as long as possible. Living in a fat shaming world. Like I said, we can dislike each other, but we know what's wrong is what's wrong and what's right is what's right. I don't really know anything about her, so and okay. then someone said, Wouldn't it be five? Did you forget about Gracie? <laughs> uh i guess i did i'm sorry i guess it's because you had gracie god for like three days when i first met you and then she was just gone because of the roommate mm -hmm. i still can't believe people like i oh god i was looking for the old phone and i still have pictures meeting gracie cuddling up like are you kidding me <laughs> The way that people think is just so scary. I, I I don't know why they think that you let her out on purpose. Like I've told them multiple times myself, but they still bring it up. It's true. Destiny has. Yeah, and it's like, I know people have questioned in the past. Well, if you knew that Gracie wanted to run away, then why didn't you have her locked up in your bedroom? And I'm like, bitch, are you kidding me? That whole apartment is also Gracie's apartment. And we talked to our roommate. We put down rules. The roommate had some rules. We had some rules. Oh my god, and stop talking about this. Rules, Nobody fucking that cares. Is not because of me and you. On period. And I know Jordy is one of them ones who are just constantly. Destiny's not listening to her at all. Destiny's only reading the chat. And girl, Amber, you have mentioned every damn reaction channel tonight but me. Oh, well, actually, she didn't mention Mr. Snowflake Suddenly either. Sticking up to the roommate, saying how it's our fault that Gracie went out. No, bitch. When you share a home, with someone, which I'm pretty sure Jordy still lives with his mom, but we don't have to get into that. When you share a home, y'all have rules, and y'all have to respect one another. Well, it was also, I don't know how she broke a rule, because it was literally just an accident. She, no, of course we it's couldn't accident, keep her locked up in the, the bedroom with us because her litter box was in the living room. Yes, of course. So one of the things, as a roommate, we spoke to her about is about Gracie. Can you watch the door when you come so, in? So it was an accident, she Amber. Yes, repeatedly over Have you and never over. made a mistake? Just in the same sense of how I had to babysit her freaking dog all the time. Like we had boundaries and it's called respect and it's not our fault. And I'm so tired of I know and people exists. people saying that I guess you dogged her for being a stripper. I mean that was her no. business. Yes. But no. Oh, Magic Zero, thank you. Gracie I'm getting out was know. nobody's intentional fault. No one's intentional fault. No, it wasn't intentional, no. But but people, I think people are putting it together because you mentioned that she had got out earlier on you that day. Why is she still talking about oh, yeah, Gracie, please? Yeah, it's because I was paying attention. I saw her run out, and I ran and got her. <laughs> She was an outside cat. Of course, she's going to try to get out. Yeah. Like, her being a stripper was something that I always thought was so fascinating. And I'd always talk to her about that. And I know. We always had all kinds of questions. Yeah. Like, I would never dog someone for that. Are you kidding? I think she kind of did, like, didn't she? Like, people just want to assume the worst. Always. 
Jody, I know she was. And she what was really messed up about that is when we asked her about it, she was I like, hard, I don't know, I could have. Oh and she God. didn't even try to help with anything. She just stayed gone. That was horrendous. I was like, are you kidding? You can't even help find the cat with us? Like, what? Now she's just yeah, chit-chatting away, bad. like, matching up with an old friend. But then you trying to bring up all this stuff about what happened with Cash... That's been a whole ordeal, too. Good destiny. Yeah, because someone asked, you know, what's the worst thing? And that's like, the well, that wasn't the first thing I thought of. It was something else, but I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't want to go there. Um, and that's just like the first thing I thought of. And so I just vocalized it. And um, I almost instantly regretted it, I guess you could say. Because like I said, I'm not here to spill tea on you. You're I really lying. Just I know. To, like, Ms. Tomato Jam and Jody and Ella. I saw you guys on. in there. And Val. And Karina's still in yeah, there. Yeah, it's like, my name's in your mouth, so I'm gonna... Of course I'm gonna say something. Someone said address the wifey tattoo. Did she have that tattoo before y'all got together? Like I said, I am only answering questions about me or you or the situation that we're in. Not about Becky. Not about my girlfriend. Nothing like that. Yeah, I can see it ended by the chat over here. Oh, I guess Michael's back on. What's up? Michael's back on? Michael be petty? How many people are watching you? Because like I said, I'm literally not on there. There's 1,600 people. Wow. Holy! Oh, she's jealous now. Someone said he was eaten in a sentence. What do you say? Eaten weird? I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like, is it, I haven't ate today. I haven't eaten today. I don't know which one it is. You haven't eaten. And I never will. Why not? Learn it, idiot. It's not, it's not one of the mysteries of the world. It's grammar, you stupid moron. Learn how to speak English. Unbelievable idiot she is. I'll never know. Doi the doi. Oh, yeah. Someone I'm... said eaten would be uh, the correct term, I guess. Eaten. But how do I remember that? Like, I literally can't remember that. Oh, my God. How stupid is she? Do you still talk to Crystal ever? Prez Hens, thank you for the super like chat. Like I said, only answering questions about. Oh, my God. Prez thinks, uh, ALR thinks people will like her after this. The subject at hand. Because no no one else is part of this mess. This right here is drama. I don't want anyone else. Yeah, you are the drama. queen of the fucking high drama. Someone said what's wrong with you living hour. with his mom when you lived as your girlfriend's parents okay, twice. Okay, chat is over. Um, Because of everything that he says about me. I need to get he off here and get like some maple this, like adventurous, like amazing life. Talk shit that I get takeout, but yet he gets takeout. Talk shit that I like to, you know, chill at home and do things, but yet he plays World of Warcraft all the time. Like the, the list can go on. It's just nothing but a hypocrite. But what? Who's she talking about? I just don't fuck with hypocrites, and I, I, I don't mess with people who just. They dislike someone, so then they automatically just dislike every single thing that a person does. Like, it's so hey, bitch. Uh, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not. I, I'm a lot of things. I'm not a hypocrite, generally speaking. Probably have been, but you know. Also, don't hate you. Hate is a very passionate emotion. The opposite of love isn't hate. It's indifference. So I'm fairly indifferent to you, Amber. You're really just a means to an end for me. You're amusing, and I make money. That's all. There's no malice of intent here. I hate people like that. It's literally, I, I, I don't care who lives with her mom. She's freaking 70 years old and lives with her mom. I don't care. Just don't act like you're superior. Don't act like you're better than me because you're literally... 
Is she ranging on him because does he live with his mom? I didn't know that. Amber, do you know why he lives with his mom? Maybe he's helping her out. Maybe his mom's older. Do you know why? Or are you just uh, making assumptions? You don't like it when people make assumptions about you. I don't know why you'd make them about anybody else. Really not. For the record, I don't live with mine. Mine lives two floors below me, though. Sorry. Sorry. And then he says how I only do YouTube. Oh, money. Amber, I shut up and go now. Just go, go eat or something. Penny. Okay. He does YouTube for money. Are you joking? We all do it for so money, he, Amber. Did, he would not be sitting here reacting to boring Amber Lynn Reed videos. Someone said, paid. someone said, what would you say to the Amber Lynn that uploaded her first YouTube video? Ooh, good question. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would tell her not to share certain things. Like Casey? I would probably tell her to be more private. That wasn't what I'm looking for, but that's a good one, too. Thank you, Calliope. Hey, Otis. I think we should wrap this up. If I don't see a Venmo from you. Uh, you won't. <laughs> hey, you should know. Even though you hate me and I hate you, you should know my personality still stands. <laughs> I'm still the same personality. Yeah, we know Amber. But yet you said you've changed. Because you're oh, a grown woman now. I've where it matters, but I still have the same personality. Yes. I still have the same sense of humor. Yeah. You're not Two funny. things can be happening at one time. You know that, right? What do you mean? Yeah, I've been teaching you that for like, six I've months, Amber. My mental health could be better. My way of just dealing with life could oh be better. Oh my God, hang up on her now. relationships Please. could be better. But Destiny enough. And changed, obviously. But my sense of humor is still the same. Venmo me. What a runt. How do you feel about the Ocean Gate incident? Oh, I've talked about it already. It breaks my heart. It's crazy. I empathize with all five of them, especially the 19 year old boy. No, you see, you know his dad was on there with him. Learn how to speak English, yeah. Amber. And it was Father's Day. Yeah. Destiny, why are you talking to her? Just shut up now. And there's like new stuff coming out that like the son didn't even want to go. Goodbye, Pia. He just wanted to bond with his dad. Like, that's so sad. I'm getting bored, you guys. It drags on a bit. I'm guessing at this well, point there's nothing left. I'll let you go. No, oh, it's two minutes. Um, it's been an hour, so. Yep. I'm still monetized, I think. Yeah? Yep. Sorry if I uh, came off as a bitch at any point. No, you're not. I just wasn't expecting you to call, and after everything you've done, there's a lot of resentment and animosity, of course. So if I was like a bitch or rude, I apologize. And same to your fiancé. Um, I just, I don't think there should be any more communication between us, though. And I really, just for like the sake of like respect, please... And morals, maybe? Just, like, don't talk about me. Don't say anything mean. Like, sumo wrestlers, swamp ass, like, there's just no reason for it. Everybody gets swamp ass. Oh, my God. Okay. Of course. Everyone's saying to say bye, Pookie. It's, so, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just, uh, I'm very hurt by you, like the whole nine. And I noticed that when I'm hurt, I lashed out. Oh my of it. god, she won't fucking and, like, shut I found up. Out a lot of things that I didn't know about ever since this live stream situation started happening. Like you were pretty much faking being my friend, and that kind of sucks with my brain a little oh bit. Oh my god, so, shut up and hang um, up. Yeah. So if I lashed out at all, and if I seem rude at all, I do apologize. But I hope you and your fiance nothing but the best. Okay, bye. And continue making that money on you. You okay, bye. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> I hope y'all had fun with that. Oh my. This is never going to happen again. How do you feel? I'm just here. <laughs> That's enough of that. That's enough of that.
Jessica, is she ever going to shut up? Thankfully, she just did. Wow, that was a lot, you guys. Wasn't it fortunate that I ate before the stream today? Because I never usually go for two solid out two and a half hour live stream. That's madness, you guys. Madness. Okay. The winning poem is poem number one. This has been I've been watching this poll for the whole stream. And this poll has been bouncing back and forth. But we're ending the poll now, and the winner is Poem number two, which I believe was Barbie. And poem number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Poem number one is the winner. Wore the wrong shoes. Poem number two is Barbie. Came in second. Uh, so poem number one, wore the wrong shoes. I'll look you up in Discord, and I'll get your address, and I'll send you the sweatshirt on Monday. And uh, number two, I will look you up on Discord, and I will send you some stickers via Redbubble. And for the rest of you guys, thank you so much because those poems were a riot. And I'm going to read them all in a video for you. I am feeling like I have... Can I read it again? Should I read the winner before we go? Poem number one is the winner. I'll read it before we go. And then we'll end the stream. Poem number one, which was the wrong shoes. I got to say, you guys, that one was kind of my favorite, too. Let's do this side. I need to move my Discord window so I can see my... Oh, this side. No, this side. It's not as good as the first time. I, my hair isn't good. I need my hair to be fixed. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Hang on. And now I can't see. It's, a, it's an ordeal. All right. Our winning poem, the winner of the No One Cares hooded sweatshirt, is the wrong shoes. Hang on a second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look it up right now and see who it is so we can give them all their all their due props. Mo! Mo is the winner with the wrong shoes. My exes all lie about me. They say I'm stank, and they have to wipe me. K-cups go flying upside my head. Raindrops and petals, oh no, not again. I hang out on an old bed. I bring old sheets with me on vacay. But while I'm here, I eat my time away. Dark time is night and full of terrors. With putty, I fidget till I get better. And so I sit with the discomfort and trigger cues because I wore the wrong shoes. Congratulations, Mo. That was fantastic. Seriously. You know what I love? You know the line that I love that sold it to me that sounded like Amber was the miss the bat that not rhyming part where you said Dark time is night and full of terrors with putty I fidget till I feel better. That sounds just like Amber, those two lines. So congratulations to Mo. I'll I'll we'll talk in Discord. I'll send you your sweatshirt on Monday and poem number two. I'm sorry, let's give you props as well. Poem number two called Barbie was by C.H. So C.H., congratulations, and I will be happy to send you some, some TNA merchandise, some stickers. And with that, you guys, I got to get out of here because, my goodness gracious, that was a long stream. I need to um, re-up my maple syrup level. 
I need a coffee that isn't ice cold. And you guys wanted to say job, you wanted to do the job job. And it's 8.30, so maybe in a half an hour or so, we'll see you in the Discord. Thank you guys for hanging out for so darn long tonight. Until we meet again from me and the very sleepy croissant, Rio. You know, be kind. <laughs> and hasta luego.